one. How do I get my live stream on my website? Well, Tim, that's actually a good question and something that we get asked quite often. In order to get your live stream onto your own website, you'll need to embed it using some website code. Now, most paid streaming providers, you know, Vimeo, Decast, IBM, Wowza, they will provide you with some website code that you can easily insert into your website so that viewers can view your actual live stream on your very own website. Now, it's just a matter of going through the back end and they will, should provide you a section that says embed, you grab that information and then you chuck it on your website. Now, typically free providers such as Facebook or YouTube want you to stay on their platform, but there are ways to embed their live stream. So we're going to take a look at that now. Now, if you're using Facebook, you can go into the settings for the stream and then go to the section that says embed code. So I've actually created a Facebook stream, a scheduled one uh, in vMix uh, right here. And so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go to our Facebook page and then grab the embed code. So here I am, I can see my scheduled uh, live stream right here. And if I click down here, I can edit the details for the live stream. Now this is the old uh, live stream page. Uh, I'm gonna go to the live producer, which is maybe the default in the future. So you can ignore that if you are in the future. Now you can click the settings section here and then go to embed code. Now this is what we want for the website. Now you can also see that code if you go to the schedule section. I've checked it out, it seems to be the same embed code here. So I'm just going to grab this and click copy. So what that's going to do is give me the website code. As you can see here, it's a bit of code for putting onto my website. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to my website. So as you can see here, I've got my love, laugh, live stream website. And what I wanna do is edit it. So this is a basic website. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up my notepad editor and then I'm gonna go down to this section here where I wanna put it and I'm gonna paste my code. And as you can see now, I've got this piece of code in here and I'm going to save it. And then I'm going to refresh this. So now that I've copied into my website the piece of code, you can see that my I now plan to go live later today. So I'm good to go. And that's now embedded onto my website. All right, let's just say I've got a CMS like WordPress. So what I need to do is I've got my WordPress blog here. What I can do is I can insert that HTML by creating a block here, going to the HTML option and then pasting in my embed code that Facebook has provided for me. And then I can preview this. And as you can see, that has now been embedded onto my WordPress website. So with those Facebook embeds, by the looks of it, it does need to be a public stream like on your page. Um, so it doesn't look like groups or anything will work if you're trying to embed them, it has to be public. And I've used a scheduled stream as an example there so you can set it up beforehand. So you can embed your stream prior to actually starting to live stream. Same with vMix Social, you know, you can create a scheduled stream have all your social ready to go before you start, so you're, you're well prepared. However, if you go into that Facebook producer section, you can do that for either a scheduled stream or a stream now, if you're using the custom RTMP method. You just need to grab that embed code from Facebook. All right, so now we're going to move along to YouTube, which is what we use for our live streams to embed them on our website. So it's a very similar sort of method. So what I'm gonna do is go into my YouTube page and as you can see here, I've created an event. Now this will also work with the stream now section, but it you know, works with this event here. Now you notice that there's information at the top saying that the events will go away soon. Uh, I had a lot of trouble trying to find the embed information and stuff in that new control room. So I'm not sure whether it's been all fully migrated over yet. So I'm using the classic version at the moment because I couldn't really find the information on the other section. So that may change and hopefully they bring those features across. So if I go here, I can select the event that I've created. And then what I can do is just right click on it and grab copy video URL or copy embed code. So I'm just gonna click copy embed code. And then I'm gonna go back to my WordPress website here, select this, delete it. And I'm going to paste that in there and let's just preview this now. So as you can see, I've now got the ability to watch my YouTube content on here. So I've embedded my live stream that I created for the January show. Now I can view that on my WordPress website.
Now with YouTube, you can also right click it and grab the video URL. So you could use that URL to share your live stream around. But with um, content management systems like WordPress, you can use their markup for YouTube. So if I just say, add this YouTube block option here, all I need to do is paste in that uh, video URL and it will automatically embed it for me like so. So I don't need to copy that HTML, it will do the embedding for it. So that currently works with the latest version of WordPress. This kind of stuff changes fairly regularly, but that's currently working at the moment. So if I go to preview, as you can see, it's gonna generate the preview um, and then you're going to be able to see my uh, video here. Now, there may also be other additional WordPress plugins that you can use and ones in the future that might make it even easier or give you more options when live streaming to YouTube. Another common question that we see around the place is, how do I set up my website so it just displays whenever I'm live streaming to YouTube? I don't wanna to have to copy individual embed codes for each of my videos. I just wanna show whatever's being live streamed to my channel. Well, there is a little bit of a workaround for this. So you can go into your YouTube account settings and grab your channel ID and then use some embed code to embed your channel's uh, live streams to your website. So when you start live streaming, you'll see that live stream on the website. Now this is a complete workaround. Um, someone's found out a way to, to kind of embed this code. Um, so I'll include all of the information in the description. Um, it will need to be a public live stream so that everyone can see it. Uh, it can't be, a, I don't think it can be an unlisted or a private stream, it has to be public so it's on your channel so everybody can see that. So yeah, as this is a workaround, if something goes horribly wrong, there's nothing that we can do, unfortunately. Um, this is just how it is. So make sure that you go through the uh, three rules of live streaming is to test, test, and test again. So I'll include all that information in the description if you want to give that a go. Now with YouTube, you can also embed the chat. So I'll include a little bit of code in the description that allows you to embed chat onto the website. I'm not sure how official this is either, uh, but it's what we do for our website. That's what a lot of people do um, when using YouTube Live and also the chat on their website as well. So this will work for a single video method. I couldn't quite get it to work for the channel method, like showing the stream now on your channel. Uh, I could only do it for single videos, so I could grab the individual uh, video URLs and match that with the chat. Now displaying your live streams on your website is a great way to keep people's attention on your own content and your ecosystem. Page streaming providers will typically be a lot more flexible when embedding uh, content onto your website. They'll allow for more options, including advanced controls of the video, paywalls, and being able to customize the video player to match your site's aesthetics and all that kind of stuff. Like if you want a bright pink player and an orange thing here, if you want to make it look cool, you want to have um, watermarks, all that kind of thing, you'll have that ability if you're using a paid CDN or streaming provider. So for any embedding option, it's pretty much just a matter of grabbing that code, pasting it into your website, publishing it, and then giving that address out. Now, if you're unsure about doing that, it's going to be best to contact your webmaster, if that's still a term that people use, uh, or whoever looks after your website. So if you've got somebody running your WordPress website or your company website, whatever they're using, um, they're the best person to talk to if you wanna start embedding this into your site. So as this kind of thing uh, is up to the stream provider, we can't really help troubleshoot things. Uh, you can try the methods that I've suggested, but again, like. Things change all the time, so they may or may not work. Um, I've shown you what I've been able to do, but again, this might change pretty quickly. If something totally breaks, let me know uh, and I can make a new video. For any sort of vMix support though, drop us an email via the support page on vMix.com. For any links mentioned in this video or any sort of potential updates um, to the code that you might need to use, check out the video description. Stream you later. Thanks for watching. Click to watch another exciting vMix video or head to vmix.com for a free 60-day trial. See you later.